My brother believed in a basic goodness, in innocence, born in the hearts of, of every human being. If I had to venture a guess, I would have to say that most likely his deepest regret would be that in his earlier years he, he took advantage of those same qualities that he admired so much in people. You see, it took a long time for Leo to come to the realization that he himself was a good person with an open heart. And that those qualities, those traits, were something that he could embrace, that he could be proud of. My brother Leo, he was born with a very special gift. Is there anybody in this chapel that my brother did not charm at least one time or another? When it came to being a decent, caring human being, my brother was self-taught. Well, that was at least until he came face to face with the love of his life. His wonderful wife, Miss Greenlee Smythe Dupre. She gave him a crash course on love and devotion. And he was lovingly passing that information on to me. You see, Leo's joy for, for living and loving was so contagious. But he never once wavered, never once deviated from the simple truth that that love that he shared with this woman was of the greatest value. And that there was nothing this world could ever produce that could compare to that. And he was right. He was right. No, look, please, please, try not to cry, okay? Because I know that Leah wouldn't want that. I know that in my heart. Frankly, I, w I wish I could come up with some kind of a joke to tell all of you, because that, that would be more his style, right? Wouldn't it? I mean, Leo, he loved to laugh. And all the times that I joked with him about his relationship with Greenlee, saying, come on, this, this love and this, all this devotion, all this romance, it's impossible, right? But I came to learn from Leo and Greenlee that that fairy tale was the real thing. And the only reason why I thought it was fake was because up until that point in my life, I had never experienced the real thing. I never knew a man who gave himself so deeply in love. And while he was doing that, he was showing me by example and with his loving and selfless words that a love like that was possible, even for me. Well, I hope he turns out to be right. Uh, Leo and Greenlee, they didn't have nearly enough time together. We all know that they were cheated, just like we all were cheated by his loss. But what makes it more disturbing and more sickening is the simple fact that the, the person who was responsible for that loss was the same woman that should have nurtured and sustained him, a woman whose love and protection should have kept him. Now that, that is the unspeakable sin here. I, uh, I can't even begin to fathom why all of this happened. But uh, if you believe, which I would like to, that there are angels sitting around in heaven, then you have to believe that they were just aching to get Leo up there so he can liven up the place. And I have to remember to share all the good times yet to come. And there will be many with Leo. And I look forward to having a life, a future, with Leo living in my heart, just as he is in Greenlee's, for the rest of our lives. 
And I will do everything that I can to uh, try to be the man that he so desperately wanted to admire. And not disappoint him too much. expecting you to. Thank you all for loving my husband. <laughs> 